Welcome back. It's, it's been a tough time for the people of Gahiso on the West Rand. Last year, a group of women were raped while they were shooting a music video. Well, this led to a number of protests against Zamazamas in the area. Remember that? The area is mainly made up of uh, Tswanas, but it's uh, two hostels. But two hostels have actually brought in other ethnic groups. This has led to some conflict also in the area. Now, to encourage unity and diversity, an event to encourage such social cohesion is taking place next weekend. That is on the 25th of March. It includes a golf day food court as well as fashion market to name but a few two ngos will benefit from this event and to tell us more about it we are joined by event organizer tobela Tlamini. thank you so much Tobel, for your time and a very thank good you. morning to you thank you know you. um this almost feels as though it's balm on on a wound yeah. when it comes to the people of Kahiru. so i think that <clears> as society even maybe even us as members of the media we don't understand the impact of what happened last year and the impact that it's had on the community and the safety of the community, but also just the spirit of the community in Kakhu. So let's just talk a little bit about that. I think, um, you know, we come from a very sad time. It was very bad when the area was faced with so many challenges. Mm. And we had to stand up, you know, as community leaders at, at some point to say we, we need to do something about it. Remember, Kakhu means peace, basically, but it was unpeace mm. at that particular time. And where we come from, I mean, people died people you know it was it was chaos all over the show and peace was gone so at some point one had to sit back and say how then do we restore you know peace in the area how do we do a, a proper social cohesion and for me as an art activist it was more to say nothing else can help us except through the creative space let's utilize our creative space so that we can bring back the social cohesion element into the area so that people can live together going forward. Hence, this particular event is taking place. Yeah. This, this event um, is, is multifaceted. You know, there's, there's a lot that's happening mm. the, uh, with it. So how exactly, though, do you feel? And, and, and it seems there's, a, there's, there's some confidence in, in the fact that you feel that this is the answer to the social cohesion. Mm. This is the answer to the problems that mm -hmm. happened mm -hmm. last year. But how, how exactly do you see it? doing that for the community of Kahiso. And I think it's even more than the community of Kahiso because what happened in Kahiso yeah. devastated yeah. the country, you know. It's the country that you are that you're trying to heal. I think through arts and culture, that's where we find ourselves. Through such events, that's where you'll have different people of different cultures with different backgrounds coming together in celebrating life mm -hmm. in terms of saying a Motswana is here, a Mkosa is here, a Zulu is here, everybody is in one place what they are doing they are just celebrating life saying we can live together mm. so through the arts you then bring those social el social elements to say let us as africans live together and realize that if we do these things together we'll go somewhere yeah. you're right it's not only about Kahiso. it's not only about western it's about south africa remember when this thing started with us in Kahiso, it's packed the whole fire in the whole country. Yeah. So now we are saying this is where it started. But where it started, we are saying enough is enough. Let's go back to our normal lives. Let's live together. Mm -hmm. But through the arts, you can only do that. Because if you want to have dialogues and sit down and talk, people they will go and look at them as like those are talk shops. Mm -hmm. But when you are in the arts, people are happy. They can now communicate. Mm -hmm. There's networking sessions mm -hmm. that will happen throughout this particular event. So it is an event that gives platform to us talking to each other on a social level, not on a serious tone, mm -hmm. but on a social level, mm -hmm. where one wants to know, but Amazula Bandabanjan, Abatana Bandabanja, in that particular space, it will happen. It happened last year. Mm -hmm. We're just making it to grow now to another level. Yeah. You know, um, also when it comes to this issue of um, Zamazamas, because yes. it also speaks about the safety and security within that area. Right, so never mind the ethnic diversity that you have to contend with. And it's quite sad to actually speak about ethnic diversity in 2023. Uh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? As black Africans, yeah. we, we really shouldn't be speaking about this. Mm. But nonetheless, we are having this conversation. But there's an, an element of security and safety for community members. Mm. Mm. And, and a lot of times in the conversations that we were even having as a station, were community members saying we feel unsafe in the area because we've been saying time and time again, this thing is happening. There, are, there is illegal mining in these places. Mm. The community feels threatened. 
threatened. Some, some, not all, some community members are allowing this thing to happen, mm -hmm. and we are being compromised. Our safety is being compromised. Gokos was saying, I'm scared to get out of my house because mm -hmm. these illegal yeah. miners are going to potentially steal from me, right? Mm -hmm. With those kinds of problems, it's difficult for communities to move on. So how are you dealing with it? Because it's good that you're having social cohesion related event but the safety element when that coco gets into a house must still feel as though that zama zama is not going to come in and take something from her you know something good has happened in Kakhisan and it will also happen during the event what we've done is we've got what we call the community patrollers you know those guys have done a lot of good work within our community you can knock a Kakhisan safe now because of community patrollers hence in this event we have also roped them in so that financially they can also benefit something out of it was then you know they're getting 20 rents from households so that they can keep moving but through this event also which is also earmarking the safety element as well because when the when when the patrollers are there on the street they know exactly who is doing what way so the community itself now is starting to come together to say we are those gogos we are feeling a bit safe we are seeing something happening because there are people who are there day and night who have volunteered their services which is what i want to say that's what the one reason that i said let me rope them rope these guys in to come as part of our security cluster mm. to say get a space into this particular event but at the same time we are passing a message to say more and more of such people we need that are going to volunteer to make sure that our community is safe so we are at that point where we are saying we are safe because the event as well has police in it in terms of the jog element got traffic officers we had a meeting yesterday with jog to say how do we make this a safe event so that we when we leave we all all of us can go home safe and sound so there are those elements that the community is, in, is, is involved because they must take ownership, remember, of their own property. Nobody else will do that except the community itself. So hence we have those volunteers who are coming on board as well. Sure. <laughs> but you're not here with this kulum. You were, and you put it perfectly, what, you know, talk shop. We can talk shop yeah. the whole way through, <laughs> but um, yes. they are here to, to, to showcase what exactly can be expected on the 25th of March. That is when the main event is happening, um, on the 25th of March. So you can head out, of course, and support it as well. But uh, Bob Tobela Zamini, thank you so much uh, for coming through. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we are going to be now handing over to Amakia Zamata. But before we do, we are going to say for the Saturday edition of uh, the South African Morning, myself and Faith Mawope, we're heading out. Yeah, bye-bye. Until we do it again on Sunday between 6 and 9 a.m. News link, though, comes up next. But right now, you get to enjoy that wonderful Maskandi performance. Yes. <laughs> Helping to be the baba, 
Chila manes. 